what about that other time where uh, technology and cell phones definitely saved the day? Do you remember that time when we went for a, an evening cookout? We were going to cook some food on a campfire after work or something. I can't remember. But we went up to the back of Idabel Lake and to our favorite mm-hmm. spot. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're at the campsite and we're unloading our car with with all of our stuff and you know setting up for the night our tent and uh getting our food and drinks and cooler out. And so we're like, okay, we're we're ready to start cooking and relaxing and so we close all the the hatch and the doors of the car and we're sitting out watching the sunset, enjoying yeah. probably a cold beer or a cider or something like that. Oh, mm-hmm. we've arrived. <laughs> yeah, it was a beautiful warm night too. I remember that. Uh, and then I, I went to get something out of my car um, and the car was locked. We locked the car keys in the car. We couldn't get anything out of it. We couldn't open it and we were like what are we going to do well we have our phones yeah in the middle of nowhere though like guys let me just paint the picture about the location here okay (laughs) Canada is big and there are a lot of areas especially in the mountains where there is not a cell phone signal and we were pretty far from the city probably about 60 or 70 kilometers from the city and the cell phone reception is sketchy at best like it's pretty pretty spotty yeah and um this area by some fluke honestly I think it's probably <laughs> the signal from Big White Ski Resort, the mountain in that yeah, location. Yeah, it's very close. Fairly yeah. close, like on the border of where a signal would possibly reach close, okay? Right. And what did we do? We called our trusty friend Keith, Keith Hind, <laughs> and he was able to come up to where we were. Uh, with an extra set of keys, car keys that we had at home. Yeah. And he he had the code to our door because sometimes we would go on vacations and trips and uh, he's a trusted friend. So he knew, you know, how to get into our house and things like that. Yeah, I gave him the location, the specific location of the keys. And I mean, I had to explain to him how to find where we were, which literally, (laughs) this is what my explanation was like okay it's like okay Keith so you know you're going up the highway and there's the turnoff for Big White right okay keep going it's maybe like another five kilometers and then you're gonna see a sign and it'll say McCullough Lake whatever and you're going to turn there on a dirt road so drive up that road for like a kilometer and there's going to be a fork in the road take the left fork okay Mm -hmm. and then keep driving for a (laughs) while (laughs) <laughs> until you see a turnoff for Idabel Lake Resort mm-hmm. and then go in right. there. And then I think it's the third or maybe the fourth road. I can't remember exactly, but it's called Sunset something. So turn down there, <laughs> drive to the end and follow the dirt road for like a kilometer or so until you see another fork in the dirt road. Take a left. <laughs> at this time, I'm feeling like I'm just telling him, you know, turn at the third rock or the third tree on the left hand side. Like, I'm thinking, oh my God, how is this guy ever going to find us? And the, the directions to find the keys were easier than the directions to find where oh, we, we were. Oh, we were literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, it was not a place he had been to before. And you know, he's a smart guy. And again, not great reception. He can't call us. We're not necessarily going to connect. He can't call us. We can't call him. And, you know, about an hour and a half later, we heard the crunching of the tires of a vehicle coming and yeah, dun, dun, it was dun. a dirt road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our savior, Keith, Keith saved the day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So he came, we shared our dinner with him and he went back home afterwards and, uh, you know, we made a good night of it anyway, but mm-hmm. he, he earned a beer. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think he might've brought a few with him or a couple anyway yeah. to drink. I know he was driving. So, um, yeah. cause he knew we probably had our limited supply. <laughs> we weren't expecting company <laughs> anyway. So I think clearly 
cell phones have become a really, really important part of our lives. And I mean, it's, we don't leave the house without it in most cases. We do that oh, check, no. the keys, the wallet, the cell phone, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's probably just going to get worse from here, but that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully it does new cool things that we can't even imagine, right? Yeah, who knows what the future has in store, that's for sure. Well, thanks for sticking around to the end of this conversation. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson about cell phones and some of the stories and experiences that we had. And if you want to get access to the transcription for this podcast, you can just check the description area below and you'll find a link so that you can get access to it and download it. And just one more note for all of you that have been listening to our podcast for years and years and years, or maybe just months and months and months, and you love our conversations and you're trying to improve your English, but you haven't come over to our website to really see what we're doing over there. I really encourage you to come and check it out. We are so much more than just a podcast and a little bit of advice. What we do is is we specialize in helping intermediate to advanced level learners to realize how they can improve their speaking and listening skills in a much faster way by changing the way that they're trying to learn English. The truth is that very simple changes can make a huge difference in the progression that you're making with your speaking fluency and with your listening skills. So if you're interested in learning more about what we do, how we teach, and how we can help you to break through those barriers that you're at right now that are stopping you from getting to the next level of your fluency, come over to our website, realenglishconversations.com, and check out the fluency programs. If you have any questions, send me an email. I'm happy to answer your questions. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next next podcast episode.